Hello everybody out there and welcome to what I think is going to be a very interesting video. In this video we are going to be looking at the Battle for Zandikar Magic the Gathering intro pack. Now there are several intro packs. This one specifically is the Rally Cry and each intro pack comes with two booster packs and a pre-structured deck. This one is towards fire and I believe this is light. There's also water um, I want to say darkness or swamp and then there's earth but the one that we have here is light and fire and you're guaranteed two rares in the pre-made pack you can this is basically for beginners or people who are getting back into Magic the Gathering cards and I know a lot of you out there already saying but Chris you said you were just doing Pokemon on this channel that you weren't going to get into any other types of cards well if you saw the live show on New Year's Day, you understand why already, but if you didn't and you haven't, I decided to grab some Magic the Gathering cards because I was walking down my local Walgreens aisle, and I got to admit, uh, I bumped into, I went down the aisle where the cards were, and I, I'm just, I just started looking at the artwork on the Magic the Gathering cards again, and I, as a person who used to play Magic, I don't play Magic anymore. Uh, but the artwork for Magic cards has always been a huge draw for me. And when I saw these and I saw them on sale, I said I had to grab one. So I decided to get the Rally Cry because I loved the first card on there, which is the Hero of Gamma Fada. Goma Fada. I probably already said that wrong. And I'm going to say this in advance to anybody who's a hardcore Magic fan and watching this video. I'm going to pronounce things wrong. So just be ready for that. Because I know there are a lot of hardcore fans out there that don't like when you pronounce their the cards wrong. But hey, I'm just getting back into this. So we're going to dig into this. So if you're a beginner or somebody who you know wants to get back into Magic, I would recommend this. Me, I'm doing this because I want to see what we can get. So put this in the background. Take this out of my hand. So here's the pre-structured deck, which we will look at in a moment. And then it comes with a few other things. We've got the two packs. Right here, we'll get into those. There's 15 cards in each. Uh, you've got a Battle for Zandikar. I guess it's a playmat? Let's open it up and see, or is it a poster? It could just be an advertisement after all. And that's exactly what it is. Oh no, I'm wrong. The rundown of all the cards and everything else. Call the Blood. It's all the ones here. The Rally Cry. Another one was Swarming uh, Instinct. Another one's Call of Blood. I saw that one as well. Uh, Eldrazi Assault. Zendikar's Rage. I would like to get Zendikar's Rage. That one looks cool. I didn't see that though. And it tells you what cards are in each of the pre-structured decks. And of course then you got, like I said, the two packs which are random. And then you've got a little Magic the Gathering rules reference card which basically references you to all the wonderful interesting things in the world of magic if you'd like to learn how to play gives you all the rules but we're not here to look at rules and we're not here to look at posters we're here to look at cards so I'm gonna open the pre-structured deck first since that is the predictable stuff in this pack so anyway we've got the two rare cards first and the first one is actually a holographic, which I like hollows. And like I said, it is the Hero of Gamma Vada. Then you got Angelic Captain. This is awesome. I like this card, so those are the two rares. Then we're going to have several of the same. So there's Cliffside Lookout. There's a few of them. Uh, I'm going to move these aside. I don't want to cover them over. Got Expedition on en Envoy. I almost said Envoy. I don't know why I did that. You got well, this is hard to do when you're doing a huge pack like this so let's get the land cards out of the way first because the end of the pack has a bunch of land cards and it'll make life a lot easier so these are all your land cards and apparently the land cards are full art now apparently they don't they are doing that for the pre-structured decks or any of the fat packs or anything right now it's something that I think they mentioned needed ram uh, rectifying. I'm just showing you guys a couple of them just so you can see. Oh, and there's a few more cards here. Wow. Okay, let's backtrack a bit. All right. So put these back on top. So these are all your land cards. Evolving Wild, 
sandstone bridge got a couple of planes I think mountain yeah there's a couple of mountains that's it so we got all that out of the way so let's go back into this deck now you got the lithomancer's focus a few of those got outnumbered you got angelic gift smite the monstrous several of those inspired charge core blades whirl you got core Castigar, Castigator, sorry. I should look at the cards instead of the, the camera, which doesn't focus. Reckless Cohort, I have a few of those. Uh, McKindy Patrol, got a couple of those. Fire Mantle Mage, Chasm Guide, Undo Champion, Core. Entangler, get a couple of those. Shattered Skull Recruit, got two of those. Resolute Blades Ma Blade Master and Angelic Renewal. I believe I got this in a previous deck. So those are your pre-made or your preset cards for this deck. So you get all those guaranteed. Except for the second card, as far as that, you do get Hero of Gomafada, uh, or Feta, however you want to pronounce it. So now we go into the packs. So, I'm opening these off camera. Makes life easier. And the good news is, unlike Pokemon, we can start right from the beginning. So we have Oracle of Dust, Voracious Null, Reclaiming Vines, Mist Intruder, Reckless Cohort, Stonehaven Medic, Benthic Infiltrator, Touch of the Void, Shadow Glider, Stone Fury, S Sith Leopard, we got a Blight, Steep, Retreat to Amira, that's a nice card, we got Zada. Hedron Grinder. We've got a Swamp. And we've got an Elemental Token. Okay. First one. And now we go into... Let me just fix this up a little bit so you guys can see the cards a little more. There we go. Now let's go into the last pack. Which is actually starting off exactly the same. Oracle of Dust. Alter Reap, Plummet, Bellagrint, Whiptail, Core Castigator, again, Natural Connection, Tightening Coils, Eldrazi Devastator, Demon Grasp, Looming Spires, Retreat to Kanzadu, Skyrider Elf, this is a nice card, Malakir Familiar, that's a cool dragon, another Angelic Captain, so that's another rare, and a Mountain card along with another Eldrazi Scion token. And that's all you get in this deck. That's kind of funny that I pulled the same rare inside of the um, one of the packs. It's kind of funny. But that's cool. Got two Angelic Captains now. Are they exactly the same? Let's see. Is there anything different with these two cards? No. Completely, completely identical. As you can see. This is the one that came in the pack. In the pre made pack and this is the original so both exactly the same really cool stuff so we got a lot of nice cards in this box now yes one pack was pre-made and the other two were just um 
empty packs. I really love the the one thing I like about Magic again, and I'll show you guys right here. It shows it all right here. Is the artwork. I love the artwork to the Magic cards. I love the artists that do a lot of the really great work. This is an example of the full art um, land cards, by the way, guys. If you're interested, zoom. Sometimes the camera wants to be a pain. So, I'm a real fan of the artwork and the magic cards. Now, am I a Advent player anymore? No, but I do love to collect me some magic every now and again. So, not as often as Pokemon, but every so often I think we will be grabbing some more Magic the Gathering cards. I did look up a couple of um, fat packs or prices and just, just you know, curiosity and interest. And, um... They're not really that expensive, so from time to time I might grab a couple of Magic cards. I know a few people did message me when I mentioned I wasn't going to do Magic because of uh, pronouncing uh, certain cards. And they're like, Chris, if you like the cards, if you like the artwork, just do it. Don't worry about pronouncing it. You know, it is what it is, and it's true. So uh, because of that, in that encouragement, as well as the encouragement of beautiful artwork, uh, I will be grabbing a couple of Magic cards every now and again. Um, I'm not going to say never to anything, but I look forward to more Pokemon stuff in the future. Look forward to some Magic stuff in the future. And uh, we'll see what else, you know, comes our way as time moves forward. Right, guys? Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Magic cards. Do you like the artwork? Uh, are you playing the game? Um, which... Uh, series are you most interested in? Maybe I'll check out those series. Would you like to see more from Battle for Zendikar? Zendikar? I believe there's a new set coming out in a month or two. Um, the last one I got was Avacyn. Avacyn Restored, I believe. I'm not sure, but these packs look really interesting. So I might grab a couple more. I'm a huge fan of the Angelic cards. So hopefully we'll see more Angelic cards in the future. Till then... Links in the description below. Check those out at your leisure. A lot of awesome sites that myself, Michael, and everybody that works on this channel works on uh, through other, on the other links. Uh, Zone 4 Podcast, Comic Frontline, Frontline Gaming Zone, Last Ember Press. Really awesome sites. Check them out at your leisure. And also other sites connected right here to Dark Avengers C86. Big things. This year is starting off really great. I'm really enjoying uh, the way we're going here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos too. Till then, take care everybody, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next video.